वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश फोर्टी टू दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हेबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द ड्रिल पाइप हैज एन आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ थ्री इंच एंड वॉल थिकनेस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव इंच एंड वेट ऑफ फिफ्टी पाउंडस पर फीट इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू टॉर्क एंड एक्जियल लोड एज शोन डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज द मैक्सिमम इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट ऑन इट्स सर्फिस एट सेक्शन ए ए सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ड्रिल पाइप क्लियर दैट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्जियल लोड एज वेल एज दिस टॉर्क क्लियर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज एंड मैक्सिमम इन प्लेन शेयर एट दिस सेक्शन ए ए क्लियर दिस पाइप हैज़ अ वेट ऑफ फिफ्टी पाउंडस पर फीट दैट विल एक्ट डाउनवर्ड so let's start with the solution so if you cut this pipe at section a a and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this that this is the pipe this is the length at which we have cut this pipe clear this length is 20 feet clear and we have a load of 1500 pounds clear and we have a torque that is mentioned over here that is 800 pounds into feet and this length is 20 feet 20 feet so when you cut it so definitely you will be having a reaction force which will be represented as n and you will be having a resultant torque in this opposite direction this will be the torque t so we'll find this t and n also you can see the weight of this pipe is 50 pound per feet so this length for the length of 20 feet so this weight will be also act downward and this weight will be equal to 50 multiply by 20 and the unit will be equal to 50 multiply by 20 will be 10 uh, 1000 and the unit will be pounds now we'll apply equation of equilibrium that first equation of equilibrium is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is along y direction is 1500 that is downward the other one is n which is upward and third one is this weight which is 1000 pounds that is downward so downward force is taken as negative so minus 1500 plus 1000 uh, minus 1000 minus 1000 plus this n which is upward is their sum must be equal to 0 so from here this reaction axial force will be equal to 2500 pounds now we'll find this resultant reaction torque so for that i will apply equation of that sum of all moment or you can say that this is the torque which is 800 pound into feet so there is no other torque and this torque reaction torque which is opposite to that so this t will be equal to this t will be equal to this t will be equal to 800 pounds into feet but that will be counter clock if this is counter clockwise so this will be clockwise this t will be equal to clockwise now you can see you have a normal axial load and you have a torque so if i draw the state of stress like this let this is the element clear so due to this normal load we have a normal force and due to this torque we have a shear force so for normal load i will write it normal load we have normal stress which is equal to this load n divided by a and for shear for for torque we have due to this torque we have a shear stress which is equal to 
T torque into C divided by J where T is torque, C is the radius and J is the polar moment of inertia. So first we will calculate it. So N is 2500, so 2500 divided by area. So area of this circular hollow pipe will be equal to pi by 4 D outer square. So D outer square, D outer is 3 inch. So 3 square minus D inner. So D inner, D outer is uh, 3 inch clear and this is 0 0.25. So this also corrected, this is 0 0.25. So it means that D inner will be equal to D outer minus 2 time of thickness. So 3 minus 2 into 0 0.25 will give you D inner will be 2.5 inch. So I will write minus 2.5 whole square. So when you calculate it, you will get the normal stress comes out to be 1157.5 PSI. Also, you can see that this load is downward. This is also downward and this is upward. So it will cause the compression. So compressive stress is taken as negative. So I will write minus sign with it. So this is compressive. So if you represent it on a state of element, so there is no stress in x direction. So sigma x will be equal to 0. And there in y direction, this is compressive stress. So sigma y will be equal to this minus 1157.5 psi. So for shear stress, we will calculate shear stress. And this shear stress is equal to torque which is equal to 18,800 pound into feet. So for converting in, in, into inch, we will multiply it with 12. So it will be 800 multiplied by 12 and the unit will be pound into inch. Multiply by C, C is the radius. So maximum diameter is three. So radius will be equal to 1.5. So I will multiply it with 1.5 divided by J. J is the polar moment of inertia. And for circular hollow, shaft or rod it will be equal to pi by 2 c outer c outer means radius outer which is 1.5 power 4 minus c inner and c inner is 1.25 power 4 so if this is the pipe circular pipe clear and this is the center so if this is c outer which is 1.5 and this is the thickness which is given as 0 0.25 so c inner will be equal to c outer minus thickness so c outer is 1.5 minus thickness 0 0.25 will be equal to 1.25 inch clear so when you calculate it you will get the shear stress comes out to be 3497.5 PSI and if you represent it on a state of on this element so it will be like this this will be tau of xy and here it will be like this clear now you can see that you have sigma x is equal to 0 sigma y is minus 1157.5 PSI and you have shear stress tau of x, y will be 3497.5 psi. So for calculating the principal stresses, we know that principal stresses is sigma 1 comma 2, which is the first part, a part. And that is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy square. So put the value, we have 0 minus 1157.5 divided by 2 plus minus under the root 0 minus minus will be plus 1157.5 divided by 2 whole square plus 3497.5 square. Clear? That will give you sigma 1, comma sigma 2. So for finding sigma 1, 
so it will be equal to minus 578.75 plus if you calculate this value this value comes out to be 3545.08 and when you add them you will get sigma 1 will be equal to 2966 psi or in ksi it will be 2.97 ksi Similarly, sigma 2 can be obtained by subtracting minus 578.75 minus 3545.08 and that will be equal to minus 4124 PSI or you can say 4.12 KSI that will be minus. So these are the principal stresses sigma 1 is 2.97 ksi and sigma 2 is equal to minus 4.12 ksi so these are the principal stresses which are the maximum stress that will act on this element and that is the answer of our first part in second part we have been asked to find the maximum in plane in plane shear stress and we know that maximum in plane shear tau in plane maximum is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y square so put the value sigma x is 0 minus minus will be plus and sigma y is 1157.5 divided by 2 whole square and tau of x y which was 3497.5 whole square under the root so you can see this is the same thing which have this value and this in plane maximum sharing stress comes out to be 3545 psi or in ksi it will be equal to 3.55 ksi and this is the answer of our second part which is the maximum in plane shear stress and that was all about this problem 9-42 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.